Hello and welcome back to The Broken Doll. And today I come to you with a, an interesting little thing um, here that I've been thinking about. And I've been doing a lot of ironing and starching of some old doll clothes that I want to get out and be able to see. And I don't see them because they're all up in the attic in, a, in, a, in totes. So I got another tote up there full of old doll clothes I want to bring down. But before I do that, I've got some stuff hanging up, a lot of my whites. And I've been taking the stains out of them. It's something, oh, wonderful. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. The um, doll cleaner is, is great from Twin Pines, but that Boost, there's something about it that's even better than OxyClean. I'm using, I don't like using OxyClean for the fact that you got to babysit it. That's what I mean. And I don't always have the time to sit there and watch everything. I'm, I'm on the run a lot of the times. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. So the next thing I know is it's sat there about five, six hours and OxyClean can eat up old antique clothing. It can put holes in it, thin it down even more than you ever thought. So you got to be really careful about it. Now, right now, I've got some stuff in OxyClean because I ran out of the Boost. But the Boost, you don't have to. You can soak it there for a couple days if you want. I've had water turn out just like like orange, like li literally orange. It's, and that's old nicotine and gas furnace, the yellow from the gas furnace coming out. <clears throat> and you got to remember when these clothings were, were on little dolls or in a, in a house, they were put away in places where it was, you know, like a little girl's room and brought out their dolls were, and the nicotine flew around in those homes because everybody, I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of people smoked back then. And it was the cool thing to do. And, um, but the thing is, is, is that it left a yellow residue behind and that nicotine went into clothing, it went into vinyl dolls and that's why some dolls can even smell like cigarettes, even today. If you are a home that has um, a, a lot of smoking going on, vinyl dolls will pick up the, will absorb the the smoking um, aroma, if you want to call it an aroma, um, odor. And um, but anyways, what do we do? You know, when it comes to um, um, where was I heading with this? Oh, there is a reason. But I, oh yeah, I was. So anyways, um, a lot of my clothing has been soaking. Like, like you wouldn't believe, and like I said, just like a, a lot of orange and, and deep tea looking stuff coming out and the clothing is just white, like just immaculately white. And I'm like, oh, I love this, you know. So anyways, um, where is this going? There's this whole thing going. Well, anyways, that's what I've been busy doing. Now that I've got some of my um, clothing um, coming ready to be put out, I'm like, how do I keep it shaped? Well, here's something that somebody said to me here. His name is Steve Carismo. He said, how to stop a wig from shrinking when you do not have a form to pin it to. Now, he was taking that from my video when I made my Shirley Temple, my, my 27 inch Shirley Temple. I restored her. When I went to put the, uh, um, the wig on, on the doll after I washed it, it did not fit. But I'm gonna say something, Steve. That was not because the wig shrunk. That was because I did get a hold of the lady and I, I talked to her and this is what I asked her. I asked, I asked her this, the wig that you placed in the box for the Shirley Temple, was that her, her wig? She said, no, I bought a, she said, I bought a bunch of dolls up from a, an estate sale. She said, a lot of them were bald. I didn't know what, I had a couple wigs and she says, I gave you one. And it looked like to be a Shirley Temple wigs. I had a few Shirley Temples. I don't know nothing. She said, I don't know a thing about dolls. I don't know a thing. And she said, so the thing is, she says, um, I saw the wig. It looked like Shirley Temple. I threw it in. And she said, I just gave it to you. And she said, obviously, it was not for her. You know, it didn't fit her. And I said, no, it didn't. And I said, I just wonder. And she goes, no, I don't know who, what doll it went to. She says, I just gave it to you. And I put it in a bag and sent it with her, you know. And that way she had a wig if it did fit her. And I said, okay, that helps me understand. So the wig was never hers to begin with. So, but another thing is, too, I only washed her hair in cold water. Mohair, what I've been told, should not shrink should not, the word is should, not shrink in cold water. Now, if you were to do it in lukewarm or hot, mohair will shrink. My dolls, that wig was only washed in cold water only. Um, so it didn't shrink. It wasn't the right wig to begin with, and it didn't shrink. But the question is, when you do have a mohair wig or any wig at that, and you do wash it, what do you do to help it keep it so that it doesn't, you know, keep its form at least? 
Um, if you're deciding to wash your wig in hot water, be prepared for it to shrink. I don't know uh, about nylon wigs, but I do know mohair will shrink if in hot water. So anyways, you could do this. This is a paper towel holder. This is a styrofoam ball. So I got the styrofoam ball out and I took out, I, I found a bag. I took this bag here, has wigs. And if you can find one that can fit, you know, on the wig, you could, you washed your wig and now you're prepared to, you know, now this is too big. There are smaller styrofoam balls you can get. I bought one size right now. So I have something else I want to use it for. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at this. Put this right on the styrofoam ball, pin it where you'd like to, and you can work on it as well like this. So this is an idea of what you could. And then I want to make sure you're seeing this here. Let's get this up a little bit more. There we go. This is a, a, a probability of what you could do. So just an idea I'm throwing out there. I'm not saying, you know, this is a total work, but if you wash the wig, you can let it dry on here, curl it on this as well, pin it where you want so that it keeps its, um, you know, just some little straight pins if you want to. That could work as well. These are just ideas. So I'm going to take this, this wig here is um, for another doll I have. And I need to get them out and restore them. <laughs> but anyways, this helps keep the... And also, this is how I pack my dolls. I keep... Um, now, that, not this one. This was an old one, and it keeps its form very well. But I put paper towels in her, and then I lay her upside down in this bag. That's how she should be. And then I put this... I had this one here. These are both mohair wigs. Okay, but what's another way I, reason I could use these as well? Well, I have been ironing and starchy bonnets old little baby doll bonnets and these are also good for keeping the shape of your bonnet now i have a smaller one so i need to get the smaller styrofoam ball but this does work as well and so if you want this here you could also do this with it and this will help keep the shape of the the bonnet as well after you starched it now the only thing is is that you need a place to put this type of thing and I'm also using up my um, my paper towel holders, which I put arms and legs on. So I would have to get more of these if that's the case. But it does keep the bonnet looking nice. You know, once you starch the brim up, you know, you got the hat looking pretty good to what you'd like to, it to be. You know, that's nice. Now, I'm not keen on these uh, blue ribbons at all, but there is blue in there. So I kept them on right now, but they're kind of needing some you know, some rejuvenation, some new ribbons put on, on, on it. But for right now, I kept it the way it is. Um, I have a whole lot of clothes that need to be sewn up, doll clothes. I have tons to work on. And, um, but anyways, I like to just be out here at nighttime and just sew, you know. And a lot of it's just simple little hand sewing, you know. So that's the, the wonderful thing about it. But anyways, as that may be, you can see that um, this is all you have to do and it's, it doesn't take much money uh, th this was I found at it doesn't take a whole lot of money to do something like this styrofoam ball I am what did I pay I got a second one here I can tell you what I paid in Canada for it two dollars but I imagine you can get them even cheaper now I've got more of these up in my attic somewhere don't know where but I do have some but I had to buy brand new because I don't know where mine are but I have them and um, I think it's the size I have too and I think this is what I bought it for, was for wigs and for bonnets, you know. But this is an idea that you could use. So, Steve, that's all what I can say about that there. Uh, that you, you asked me that question a little while ago, and I've been wanting to answer you. I haven't forgotten you. I've got some questions down here by another lady that I want to answer. And that's coming up, too. But I want to answer that question. What to do with a wig once you've washed it? I would get like a styrofoam ball. Pick up some of these. These are cheap if you can find them at your um, local uh, thrift store. You know, um, you wouldn't believe what you can pick up. And I'm looking for more of these. If I find them, they're coming home with me. And I just want these little wooden... And this is just a dowel. You can see that. You know, that's all this is. It's just a wooden dowel. And on a wooden platform, you could get a dowel and put it on some wood too. If you don't, you know, if you don't, um, you can't find any. You don't have any in your area to be bought and up. Um, this is something you could just make yourself. You know, drill a hole, put your dowel in. You can make a bunch of these up, you know, next to nothing. You know, um, dowel's not that expensive. And, um, you know, if you got wood laying around your house, even a little two by four, you can just cut it up and... You know, drill a hole, stick 
stick the dowel in, you know. So ideas there, you know. You don't have to buy a towel, a paper towel um, holder, you know. So that's up to you, you know, um, how you want to do it. But that's another idea there too. Um, so just just some ideas there of what to do, you know, um, with when you have you do wash your wig. This is an idea to put it on a styrofoam ball, pin it, let it dry. You can work on it while it's on this too. It's a great idea, you know. So I just took the, the styrofoam ball and gave it a start with a little bit of a hole and stuck it down. You know, styrofoam so soft, it'll go right on one of these with no problem whatsoever. So ideas, that's all this is. It's, a, it's, it's an idea. And I hope you like it. I hope I answered your question, Steve. And about, I know because... When you asked the question, you were on that 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 video of mine of Shirley Temple, and just to let you know, that wig was not her wig; it belonged to a smaller doll. And so, anyways, there we go. I got another question I want to answer coming up here. So thanks for uh, dropping in. More to come, and I'm going to be working on it. I I got dolls I want to just keep working on. And I asked my daughter, "Do we have to go anywhere today?" She goes, "Nowhere." So I'm going to go in and make some food to eat, and then I'm going to. Um, I'm going to uh, get out here and just do some work on, on a lot of dolls. I have a lot going on right now, and I love it because it keeps me busy, my mind busy. I'm decorating for St. Patrick's Day because I'm putting on a little, I want to make a video for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to try to use some different dolls. I'm going to try, get some different dolls. And I feel like sometimes I keep using the same dolls over and over again. No, they're nice to look at, but it'd be nice to see some other ones as well, all dressed up for St. Patrick's Day. So I got some ideas floating around in my head and, you know, some things here. So stay tuned. There's always, I'm always mucking my hands into anything. If you're coming by, subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. So and hit the like button if you like what you're seeing here, you know, give me a thumbs up. But um, that, this is what I would do. I'm going to start doing this more and more. The problem is, though, I can't have too many of these because they do take up counter space. So you want to get these hats, I want to get these hats on dolls, you know, that's my the, the bottom line. I think I have a little dress that goes with this one here. I have another one sitting here, right here, and as well. And um, I need to re-iron it because it got wrinkled. Um, it looks like I need to do some more ironing on it. These are hard to iron, but I'm getting there. But anyways, um, I'm going to take the, this one back in and re-iron. It looks like right around this area, it's still kind of crinkle. So I want to re-iron some of that. But um, yeah, um... I just need a smaller um, styrofoam ball for this one here because this one, this is just not fitting. They're not fitting in this one. So I need two sizes of balls. But um, I've got a lot of these little bonnets just sitting around, not being used. And I could be putting these on my dolls. I, it sickens me that I, I got all this wonderful stuff and I keep buying on top of buy. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm stopping because I've got stuff and I just want to use what I have. You know, get it on my dolls. And I want to start where I just, a lot of my old dolls, I just dress them once and that's it. And then maybe change them once a year, but not to the seasonal holidays that are going on. I'm going to have my holiday dolls that I like to change. And then the other ones just get shown, they're going to be shown in these nice old vintage clothing that I have. It, they need to be seen that way. And uh, they're just not being seen. So anyways, thank you for joining me and a lot more to come. And we'll be talking to you again really soon. Bye-bye.